<laughs> well, would you look who's here? Looks like it's going to be- Ahoy there, Traveler! <laughs> so, Captain Real- Hey! I heard that you took care of another crisis while you were in- e That's what I heard, too. Thanks to you- Captain's got quite the eye for people. She said she was sure that your trip to Inazuma would stir up some waves. And sure enough! <laughs> Look at you, being so modest. We all know we- I'm glad you came. Welcome back aboard. Hey, don't mention it. As a host, it would be pretty embarrassing to continue letting my guests be put on the spot like that. I can't go getting too caught up in my own rep- Oh, is that so? <laughs> well, it just so happens that we're doing some recruitment and training for new crew members while we're- I'm curious to see if you'll take the sea by storm in the same way you have on land. Good. Come with me. I've got something interesting for you to see. Chief Mate Juza's breaking in the newcomers, but I think we can spare you the tedium of that. After this, the new crew members will be arranged into two- One team will learn comprehensive survival skills, and they will serve as the support team for the fleet, ensuring safe navigation. That's why we call them the Shield of the Crux. <laughs> That's right. You catch on quick. As one might expect, we call the other team the Spear of the Crux, because they'll be learning about naval warfare. They'll make up the armed portion of our crew. Also, they're responsible for handling the fleet's cargo deals. So, what do you think? Which team is for you? <laughs> As I expected. You have a will to protect others. There are two main subjects that the Shield of the Crux focuses on. Sur As I was saying earlier, survival knowledge includes prevention of injuries and diseases. You can go learn about these skills from Yinxing, Hoixing, and Liuxur. They're all seasoned hands in their respective fields. Each sailor has their own strengths and weaknesses. I'm no rookie, of course, but you shouldn't underestimate the knowledge of the crew. If there's anything I'm most proud of in the fleet, it's my people. Go and get to work. I'll have some questions to test you later. <laughs> I look forward to seeing how you do. Huh? Hello. Hmm? So you've already finished talking to the crew, huh? <laughs> I thought it would take you a while longer. So, what did you think? Well, you sound confident, but don't underestimate the shield of the crux. Gotta admit, though, I like your attitude, kid. Okay, let's get started. First of all, life on the sea isn't always plain sailing. Injuries and illnesses happen all the time. But what is the single biggest danger facing crew members? Hmm? Is that your final answer? <laughs> Alright, on to the second question. As you've just learned, the fleet plots its route using nautical charts. The charts used by the Crux have additional charts attached. The supplementary chart has lots of lines in various colors for added reference. What is the purpose of these lines? Interesting, interesting. Now, last question. 
On longer voyages, we have to be especially careful to avoid certain weather hazards that pose a threat to the integrity of the ship and the lives of the crew. For example, water spouts. So my question is, how can we reliably predict water spouts so we can... Okay, those are all my questions. Do you want to know how you did? Congratulations, you... Uh, wait a second, you didn't pass. Were my questions too difficult? Hmm, they didn't seem to be all that hard. Did you get them wrong on purpose, or...? Ah, just kidding, I know you wouldn't do that. I guess you're just not really suited for life on the sea. In that case, how about we take a trip back to Liue Harbor? Looks like you and the sea are not made for each other. Dry land is where you really come into your own. I've actually been hoping for the chance to give you an insider look at how some of the Crux's important business is conducted. You may be aware that as an armed fleet, the Crux is kind of like the maritime equivalent of a guard for hire. We work as an armed carrier, earning our keep by- Aside from that, though, there is also one other important way we make income. Actually, it's trading. In certain kinds of goods. Hey, my hotshot accountant. Nice of you to join us. <laughs> Cut it out, boss. Juza sent me here with a message. Okay. Be careful. Well, she has something to take. Amora Grubber was right, though. The importing here, exporting there, the only difference... You'll see what I mean by that shortly. I'm taking you to see one such transaction for yourself. Come on, let's go meet our trade. Are you two here to collect your order, huh, Bait? Yes, sir. We're here about that. Go and make arrangements. Uh, <clears throat> Great. I think that wraps up everything we needed to do in Liyue Harbor. Let's head back and wait for the delivery. <laughs> I thought we were pretty clear, weren't we? The three people we just met are our business partners. Nay's professional fish mo- The bass, obviously, is the- Meanwhile, the conversation I had with the warehouse keeper was the instruct- Tonight at midnight, the deal will take place in Guyan Stone Forest. The Alcor will wait- As for what the actual goods are, well, you'll see tonight. What if I were to say yes? What would you do then? <laughs> Thank you. Yep, all here. Please, feel free. Stop. Nobody move. We have received certain information pertaining to a potential illegal business transaction at this- Apologies, Captain Beto. But I'm going to need to inspect those goods. Oh? An illegal business transaction, you say? <laughs> Bravo, Captain Beto. This was rather ingenious. Seems like your friend still has a little catching up to do. <laughs> I know you have a lot of questions. You need to know is that what might be easily attainable for some... That's where we come in. It's as simple as that. <laughs> you still have some important things to take care of, don't you? As long as you don't know what I was referring to, you'll be safe. So, I'm sorry, but I can't tell you for now. Of course, if the day comes when you've traveled to every corner of the world, found you're welcome to come back here and I'll tell you all about it. You'll always be welcome in the Crux fleet.
So you've already finished talking to the crew, huh? <laughs> I thought it would take you a while longer. So, what did you think? Well, you sound confident, but don't underestimate the shield of the crux. Gotta admit, though, I like your attitude, kid. Okay, let's get started. First of all, life on the sea isn't always plain sailing. Injuries and illnesses happen all the time. But what is the single biggest danger facing crew members? Hmm? Is that your final answer? <laughs> all right, on to the second question. As you've just learned, the fleet plots its route using nautical charts. The charts used by the Crux have additional charts attached. The supplementary chart has lots of lines in various colors for added reference. What is the purpose of these lines? Okay, interesting, interesting. Now, last question. On longer voyages, we have to be especially careful to avoid certain weather hazards that pose a threat to the integrity of the ship and the lives of the crew. For example, water spouts. So my question is, how can we reliably predict water spouts so we can avoid them? Okay, those are all my questions. Do you want to know how you did? <laughs> I gotta say, each time I think I've wrapped my head around how great you are, you surprise me with something new. You got them all correct. They weren't the most difficult questions, but they weren't ones you could bluff your way through either. You've clearly been paying attention to my crew. Okay then, now it's time to apply that endless talent of yours to learning some new recreational activities. You need to realize that being out at sea might be fun for the first few days while looking at the same old sea every day and being so isolated from everything can... That is why regular recreational act... We offer a lot of fun courses for our newcomer training, including fishing, photography, chat... Oh, and thanks to Kazuha, these days we also offer poetry and music appreciation. So each newcomer has to participate in at least one, so that they've got some way of- Of course, if you'd prefer wrestling sea monsters with your bare hands, that can be arranged. <laughs> well, for today, at least, let's stick to the training schedule drawn up by Juza. If I remember correctly, it should be- Listen up! Everyone can go back and call it a day. The photography. Me? <laughs> well, well, we could do that, or. Guyon Stone Forest looks extraordinary today. It'd be a pity to not cap. <sighs> Real funny. Well, if you say so. I'm not one to spoil the fun. <sighs> so, what do I do now, Traveler? Uh, hmm. uh like this? <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding, right? I've never had my photo taken before, but something this simple shouldn't be a challenge for me. It must be the lighting or something. You've got it wrong. <clears throat> I never said that. You mean, go somewhere else, then bring the final photo back? The f 
fishing village near Wangshu Inn? That place is deserted now, isn't it? How do you even know that place anyway? It's tiny. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen it on a single map. I'm surprised that you'd remember such a trivial detail. Zhang. You're right. I was only about five or six years old. I kind of dig it. I'm lucky to have a friend like you. Okay, it's time to get back to our photography. Right, teacher? Come on, let's not waste any time. Get it done while you can before I change my mind. So, do I need to strike a pose? What? The nerve! What do you think this is? I don't want to do this whole modeling thing. Hey, cut it out! No more pictures! Here we are. Is there... Come on, let's not waste any time. So, do I need to... St All right, how about this? So, is it done yet? Please don't tell me that it looks weird. <sighs> Show me! Yeah, sure, whatever. Now give it here! Hmm... Yes... I see. Now, as captain of the crux, I am exercising my to requisition this photograph for future promotion and recruit. So I'm afraid I'll be holding on to this. <laughs> well, would you look who's here? As the head of the fleet, my task- But then again, the crew isn't usually this. Their excitement today comes from their great respect for you. All good then. Great. Actually, speaking of Inazuma, I think your good luck must have rubbed off on me on the way over. Let's talk about it over there, where it's a little quieter. So after we dropped you off in Rito, we found a shipwreck nearby. Probably belonged to Inazuma pirates. We searched the wreckage and found a map. At first, I thought it was a nautical chart. I was thinking we might discover a new sailing route if we were lucky. But after a closer look, I realized it wasn't a map of the sea at all. It was a Liyue treasure map, and no ordinary one at that. Um, nothing like that. Uh, as for its exact location, I'd say I've explored Liyue pretty extensively. So, I thought of you. 
Nobody can beat you when it comes to treasure hunting on land, right? Is that right? <laughs> well then, it looks like I'm in good hands. Here's the map, see what you can make of it. So, where do you think it is? Guayli Plains. Huh, I never would have gotten that. How can you tell? Oh. Okay then. So you do live up to the hype. <laughs> I can't believe you noticed that. You sure have an eye for detail. Let's head over there and take a look. I'll need you to help me zero in on the specific location. At least it'd get you on- Wow, uh, thank you, Captain Beto. Right. <laughs> Let's see what we've got in here. <sighs> this isn't what we're looking for. Let's look around. Maybe we'll find it. Those rocks look... kinda weird. Let's see if there's anything there. Nothing. <sighs> Let's keep looking. What are those hilly trolls digging for? Wait, actually, I've heard they some- Nope, not here either. From the- <clears throat> Drunkenly I gazed at the ruins long forsaken, and lay beneath red leaves whose branches cast a crooked shade. The dusk sun shone upon the sea as I awakened, but Guyan stood twixt weary eyes and the sight of home they crave. For her. Am I right? <laughs> okay, then. Let's start by heading to the sun. Uh, okay! Come on, boys! You- These are the long forsaken ruins from the po- At long last, the treasure is finally- You really came through. We found- Without your help, I don't think I ever would have gotten my hands on it. To us, this is just a check that you can exchange at Northland Bank for some Mora. But to some people, it's of huge importance. When I found the treasure map, it was tightly- I'll let you read it for yourself. Finished? Yeah, I can't fault him for what he did. Well, let's fulfill his final wish by taking this check to where- Well, this is it. Oh boys, it's time for your first job! Give this check to the old lady who lives in that wooden hut. Yes, boss! What's up? <laughs> I see. But- you only find Sakura Blooms in certain places, right? Let's just pick one, huh? One's enough to show that you can- You've already helped me out so much. Okay, off you go then. Take her the Sakura Bloom along with your child in a faraway land. So, oh, where do you think it is? Shh. 
Jingzhe Village. I don't see the resemblance at all. How'd you come to that conclusion? Oh, okay then. I'm definitely a rookie at this. <laughs> You're coming with me, of course. I'll need... Ah, Pedro! Wow, it hasn't... Yeah. So that's how it is. What's your take? Yeah, you have a point. Gee, let's say I'm interested in buying these finches off you. Are you serious, Captain? Oh, that would... C -C Captain Beto, you're here? Okay, I think I'm... What are you thinking? Mm, I was thinking along the same. Look, Pops, I'm not trying to make Jen's desire. Huh? Beto! You're just in so my plowing that turned up this chat. <laughs> the domestic drama just keeps coming today. What are your thoughts? Okay, I think I'm up to speed here. If you ask for the costs, I'll... What a fine day today has been. Beto. She sure has. Without Captain Beto, that... Yeah, and if it weren't for Captain Beto... <laughs> Was this... I feel like I'm forgetting something. Something we were literally just talking about. Oh, yeah, the chest! <laughs> Come on, let's open it up and see what's inside. Not exactly what I was looking for. Come on, let's get back to the party. <laughs>